Hello, this is Bill the Shed here, and you may wonder, why do I have three numbers on here? You may be asking to yourself. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? So, today I'm going to be discussing why I believe Linux is not as barely used as you think. And I'm also going to explain how much money businesses could make if they were to actually port their software to Linux. Which is something that you don't see a lot of businesses try to do these days. So the, I'm basically used. So you know, oh, this builder shit right here is trying to advertise Linux to the businesses and to the mass. And I want to absolutely shred a misconception that Linux is barely used. The idea that Linux is only used by a few thousand. Uh-uh-uh. There ain't no way Linux is by a few thousand. When this big number right here is the amount of is my estimated amount of personal computers. And I'll explain. I'll show you why. Say 1.3 billion. So amount of purse computers I'll be honest here, I think this number includes dead personal computers, but are still going to keep like this. This is Linux market share. And this one, let's just throw a dollar sign. Let's really use Microsoft Office as an example, despite the fact that distros always come with, come with LibreOffice. So, Microsoft Office is... Jeez, what where, where my brain at today? This price. So hold on. So we're gonna use those. Those and just show you where I get them. So first one, I think I need to basically stay off. Like to start. This is its the old base of personal computers worldwide from 2013 to 2019. It went from 1.5 billion back back 2013. All the Way you check that asterisk, <laughs> bro. This could actually be quite interesting. Let me look. Oh my! Be for free. Oh, this is gonna be dude. They based, but back to this. So it dropped down, and so I for an estimate I put 1.3 billion, like for inferred estimate. Right here, this is where I got my 2.33 percent for Linux. And Chrome OS is Linux too. Don't forget about that. And you know I might as well add this as number two, because Chrome OS runs. As Linux as the base kernel and there's ways you can run Linux on like get to the Linux level if you know what I mean of Chrome OS so might as well do the quick addition with that so that'd be Just make sure of that real quick. No, we don't need OBS right now, even though I'm using it. So, 259. Yep, I was correct. Just see this. Back over here. And now, no, I'm not buying Microsoft Office. I don't even have the money for this, so. This is the price for Office Home and Business 2021. Obviously for a reason. Because I got this hot the price list over here. I'm just going to give it the middle finger for now and just remove it. Car is empty. So 
So if I want to buy a Surface Pro, I'm going to install Linux on that in no time. <laughs> yeah. So, let's get to math, baby. So believe it or not, math is actually quite useful in the real world. Your math, your math teachers lectured this onto you for a long time, and yet you're like, I'm going to basketball this crap out of here. I'm going to go LeBron James, that little thing, all the way 10 miles away. No. It's math is actually a lot more useful than you think. And you know I call this? Basic fifth grade math right here. Here. So let's calculate how many people are you running Linux in the in the in the world. So AK one point three billion. Times zero point two. Nope. Brain, get to work. So, got that amount. See this number right here? Thirty million two hundred ninety thousand. Three million, I mean thirty million two hundred ninety thousand. Y'all thought I was only a few hundred that? No, no. According to the math here, it's somewhere around thirty million. To be realistic, though, it's probably a third of that because my computers are that the statistics kind of combined in, and that are just old. No one uses them. They're probably getting ready to get thrown in the dumpster because they're running XP or something. So at so it probably around ten million, but that's still a crap ton. If there's thirty million computers running Linux out there. Let's do this. It probably half of the amount of Mr. Beasts basically Half the amount of subscribers to Mr. Beast would be using Linux. A third, a, a fourth, around a fourth of PewDiePie subscribers would be using Linux. Linux. It'd be a crap ton of people using Linux. If it was only around 10 million, and that's still a crap ton of people using Linux. Doesn't look like the few thousand you thought. So now let's plug this number in. in. So, how much could Microsoft make if they sold it to if they sold Microsoft if they poured Microsoft Office to Linux? If everyone was willing to buy it, which is probably the least likely scenario. It's going to look outrageous. Is he making 75 billion? Some are 21 million? Well, wait a minute. 7 billion, 572 million, 197,100 dollars. Looks like a crap ton of money Microsoft will probably be missing out on, but... Everyone knows that's not going. That's not the proper number. So let's just multiply this. And let's say, what if half of the Linux community was going to do it? Because, or probably point four, because most of the Linux community is are like you like the concept of free numbers or something. They don't like proprietary software, so. That's still three billion dollars Microsoft's missing out on. <laughs> what if it was just ten though? Well, what if it was just ten million people that are using Linux? Let's get down that amount. 
Oh no, I'm not looking at beast number here. <laughs> Ten million ninety six set thousand and or this crap crap trash is that. And multiply this by again the zero point four. No 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 no. 0.4 and multiply it again by 249,000 I mean 249.99 that's still 100 million 962 no that's 1 billion 9 million 1 billion 9 million 626,000 thirteen dollars to me that sounds like a crap ton of profit and that looks a lot like something that's completely worth it for some money I mean it Linux is worth or throwing your money into you So let's look at basically do the math with Chrome OS and which is on Chromebooks mainly. Let's do this. And this time we're gonna do it multiply by I got around six hundred um, sixty-three million nine hundred sixty thousand computers. Let's give this the benefit of the doubt and just uh, I'm gonna keep it at this when it comes to computers around Linux. Linux. Let's keep it around this number because this number's actually I'd say quite accurate actually think about there's like I'm going to change this to like 7 million to be a bit more accurate because I think 60 million Chrome 60 million computers already run Chrome OS out there let's look it up how many Chromebooks are out there being used you gotta also realize the majority of them being used by the education system over here. Maybe Wikipedia has them. <laughs> yeah. Sales and marketing. January 2012, they placed 27,000 Chromebooks across 41 states, blah, blah, blah. Thirty million Chromebooks. Sixty million kind of sounds just right. I don't know. Let's keep it around here. I still crap in the computers, if you know what I mean. Multiply this baby by the same amount as up there. That's potential of what is this? 18 billion 489 million 260,400 dollars. That's if everyone was going was going to be compli complicit. You're talking about Chromebooks being in the mix. Sounds like 0.7. Let's get around there. That's 12. That's still almost 13 billion dollars Microsoft's missing out on. 
if they weren't if they because they just didn't port it over port Microsoft Office over I'm pretty sure Dolby would see similar numbers too but as for me being an open free and open source software advocate and again I really don't care they're about Microsoft that much, but the ridiculous had to be thrown out the window. Linux is used by a crap ton of people. And yeah, I know 10 million seems a little inflated. No. I think 10 million is just the perfect number right there because that kind of defines, frankly, a lot of people. It kind of shows the fact that a lot of people use Linux, and let's not forget. Um, large major majority of servers out there run Linux. Android phones use the Linux kernel. And let me tell you, if I were to factor Android into that mix, let's get over here. All platforms. Android kicks us right in the rear. Android kicks Windows right in the rear. And if you were to combine this with Linux and Chrome OS, Linux, like my operating systems using the Linux kernel, kernel like computers, all kinds of computers, smartphones, or AK okay, your portable ones, if you know what I mean, the laptops, desktops, servers. First, majority is Linux, so. But does it look like you're going to be installing Photoshop on an Android phone? No. no. People are already doing it on iPhones. So, that's basically what I was trying to throw out there. The truth needs to be said Linux is not underused at all. A lot of people use Linux. More than what you may think, think out there. So this is Bill Shed here. Hope to see y'all next time. See ya. If y'all like this type of content, make sure to drop a like. If you wanted to see more of this content, make sure to subscribe. If you don't like this content or specifically this video, drop a dislike. And it'd be heavily appreciated if you were to also drop a comment explaining why you disliked the video some, and some issues, also known as constructive feedback. I'll see y'all next time. See ya.